一百六十四 ，The Augusta Chronicle Editorial Statutes v s Civil Rights， 二零一五年七月二十二日 ，Source The Augusta Chronicle， 话 July 二十二。We agree with the University of Georgia scholar that a state pastors' protection act isn't necessary. We just agree for utterly opposite reasons, and we hope the scholar is right and we're wrong. Georgia House Speaker David Ralston says he wants the new law enacted next year to protect clergy from being forced to perform gay weddings against their religious beliefs. Let's be clear on this: we concur completely with the speaker. It's a frightening spectacle. One reminiscent of totalitarian regimes, to think of clergy being compelled by the government to violate deep and sincere religious beliefs and participate in what they wholeheartedly believe is sin, as reported by the Atlanta Journal Constitution, University of Georgia Constitutional Scholar Anthony Michael Price says the law isn't necessary. Because the First Amendment is already there to protect the pastors' free exercise of their religion. Again, we hope the scholar is right. Our fear, however, is that the courts, as today composed, will ultimately find that the First Amendment doesn't apply in this instance, or is outweighed by other interests. The reason we suspect judges and justices will weigh the reasoned you as. Supreme Court's finding of a civil right to marriage heavily. Indeed, civil rights should be given such weight. So, too, should constitutional rights, such as those in the First Amendment, be given extraordinary weight. However, it's just possible that future courts will conclude that the First Amendment right to one's free exercise of one's religion is not violated by performing someone else's wedding, gay or otherwise. Impossible. Did you really think the Supreme Court would find a right to marriage in the Constitution? There none exists. Moreover, what weight would a state statute such as the Pastors' Protection Act be given when it runs up against a civil right to marry the person of one's choosing? And how did that work out for the Defense of Marriage Act? Remember, at the time, the Supreme Court law defining marriage as between a man and a woman. A law passed by supermajorities in Congress and signed by President Bill Clinton was ultimately struck through by the courts as unconstitutional and nullified by the Obama administration. Statutes are like parachutes against the aircraft carriers of constitutional and civil rights. One supposes there's no harm in passing the Pastors' Protection Act and running it up the legal flagpole. It's a noble effort to protect eroding First Amendment rights for Georgia's clergy, but whether the scholar is right and the First Amendment already protects them, or we right and it doesn't protect them, a state law is probably superfluous. It's the courts, not lawmakers, that will eventually decide whether pastors are protected or not. Such a law may provide temporary protection until the courts act. And may believe and force the court's hand to overturn it, and that's to the good. But we fear such a law will, in the long term, provide false hope. We just don't see how anything can trump a civil right, copyright. C. E. T. Ling Yes Up in the Augusta Chronicle. Augusta. Ba. Visit the Augusta Chronicle. Augusta. Ba. At Chronicle Augusta come distributed by Tribune Content Agency. L L C.